Why do people hate China? <sighs> well, recently, things have gotten pretty interesting. People have developed preconceived notions through uh, the media, and um, they don't really care anymore about if you know some report comes out. I'm talking about the WHO report that said that the that the COVID-19 wasn't uh, manufactured in a factory in, in Wuhan. I, I could have guessed that no one would believe that. They don't believe the WHO and they don't believe, you know, China. So why would they believe, you know, that, that, that it challenge your worldview that they've already preconceived that uh, the virus in, you know, the pandemic was started intentionally or released accidentally by some lab in Wuhan. Um, I've read the evidence. Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting conspiracy, you know, for sure. But um, I, I, I see that that has been weaponized to really drive hate towards China. And it seems like everything is driving hate towards China these days. I feel it. It's, uh, it's an anger. You see it in the comment section of my videos. You see it in public. You see it in the news. You see it when BBC makes a program where, where the Chinese version is clear and, and vivid and colorful. And the uh, and the the version made for Western audiences is is has got this yellow, dirty tinge to it. Um, to be honest, uh, the pollution in China has gone down way down in the last few years, and it, I feel like I feel like China has moved forward, 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 forward over the decade I've lived here. But people are still looking at it through the lens that was a decade ago or even two decades ago. Why is the media painting China in such a bad light? Why is there such a um, offensive against China? Well, it's interesting. If you see yourself or your kids doing something wrong, let's say your kids across the street are really good at something, let's say a sport or something, and your kids aren't. You look at that kid across the street and you say, Billy, your kid's Billy at this example. You say, Billy, look at, look at Johnny over there. Johnny's really good at tennis. If you look at, look at Johnny playing tennis, look at how he plays tennis. Look at the uh, diligence he invests in uh, him playing tennis. Look at how long he practices. Look at how hard he works. You see, that's how we should be. And Johnny, you know what? I'm gonna take you every day, or Johnny, which one's Johnny? Is that Johnny or is this Billy? Shit, I forgot my names. Anyways, son, I'm going to work hard with you so that you can compete with your friend across the street. We are gonna make this work. We're gonna make a little competition here. We're gonna compete with your neighbor and we're gonna work hard. And in months, a mutual respect would be formed between your neighbor and you, and, a, and kind of a rivalry. I think that's, that's not really popular in America these days, or in the West even these days. I think that in, in, in the current story, instead of the dad saying to the kid, you know what, I think we need to, uh, we need to work out uh, harder and, and, try and try and compete with, uh, with our neighbor kid, and instead, he's looking over to poison the water <laughs> or he's looking over to, to, to create problems with the neighbor, either remove opportunities or, or unfairly pressure or go over and break the kid's legs and says, you know what, you don't gotta do as good as that guy because you, I'm gonna take that guy down a couple of notches and then it'll be more fair. And I think that's crazy. I think that, I think it's very understandable why people hate China right now. Because all they're getting is the bad. They're getting none of the good. The narrative they're getting is that China is beating us because they're bad. The only reason China is beating us is because they're bad. Instead of China's beating us because people are really focused on a, a cohesive society. Everybody here is working together. Look at how they tackle COVID. Look at how they um, uh, do education. Look at how these kids study. Look at, look at all of these things that are happening in this country in the good. We need to take all of the good from China and, and reinforce our society with it. But America doesn't want to do that. They don't want to take from there to bring it here. 
They want to take what's here, keep it at basically the level it is, and cut themselves off, like removing globalism. That's one of the weird things I'm like, globalism has become such a bad word when I don't know if people understand the definition. The globalism is, is working together as a global community to lift us all up, you know? China makes decisions in a lot of cases for its people. I mean, they have, I've lived here, man. I've seen roads built where there were no roads. I've seen infrastructure where there was no infrastructure. I've seen homes built for people that have very little income. I've seen people with very little income rise up. I've seen middle-class people become rich. I've seen rich people help their communities. And um, none of that seems to be getting shared. It's all of this, I've, especially during COVID, everybody was working together and not because they were forced. It was in so many cases because they just knew what they had to do was the right thing to do. And there was no conflicting message. There was no masks on, masks off. Don't trust the scientists, but trust the scientists. Don't trust the scientists. Wear one mask, wear two masks. What do we want to wear? Five masks? There's, there's, there's so much chaos and people trying to control your emotions on so many issues. It's very obvious to me why people hate China. Because they're told to hate China. And they trust who they're told.